Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to the finale, season two finale, mm -hmm, that's what I really meant, of Comey Sign. It is a little weird to do this, like, literally today of all days, I will be watching this on the 4th of July. I'm trying to do this before it gets crazy, because I still got one other thing to watch after this, and that's Pretty Cure, so probably I'll get this out either later on tonight or tomorrow, but thank God I'm doing this now instead of later, because... Your girl can't compete with fireworks, damn it. But <laughs> other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode 11 in 3, 2, hold on. 3, 2, 1, go. I don't want to go to school today. <laughs> you gotta face them sometimes, baby. Plus, also, I need to see how this ends. I know, like, when the last episode aired, I know, I think I was at work, um, and I got home, and it wasn't confirmed for a season three, so still, here is hoping that later on in the future, it's confirmed, because, I mean, that's all we want. Oh my god, this is gonna be the last time I hear this song. <laughs>
Jesus. Did she just rip her? Mm hmm. Yeah, there, there's a. God. Aww. She gonna do something pervy with them tights. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god! <laughs> Help! I hate when that happens. Mm. 
talking to you part, baby. She can't win. <laughs> oh, God. Damn. Oh, she about to go off. Nice job, Gummy. Nice. Yay! Look at Bucky! <laughs> Yeah, it feels like everybody just depends on her. Oh, my God. <laughs> right? <laughs> huh?
No, you were supposed to say no. <sighs> no! Yes, it, it's nice to feel good when you do things for others, but at the same time, you're going to get taken advantage of. Yes. Now, see, he didn't ask. She offered. Come on now. I mean, it's cute. No. Yeah. Yes, we try, so we just pan them up everything, every fucking time.
baby's fighting. It was so fucking cute. Oh my god. But like, it, it's cute that they kind of had a little disagreement. Come on now. I mean, yes, they're close. So of course we all knew what was bound to happen. I mean, it happens with all of us, with our friends. Like, there, there's always going to be a time where you and your friend, it could be a topic on like anything. Like recently, me and my friend, we just, we, it wasn't really a fight. It was more of an, um, a, uh, I can't speak, a debate. We were talking about, like, between traditional Idol S series and then the modern day Idol S series and such. And so we both had really good reasons on it as well. Um, because I wanted to get him into this one series that I love so freaking much. And it's near and dear to my heart because it was one of those shows that I just fell in love with instantly. And I remember when I watched it and stuff, and I was like, oh my god, like, when I reacted to it and everything, that it was very similar to K-On, but just a little bit better. And because of the fact is, when you think of anyone who sings, and even if they play in a band or not, they're considered an idol. And so with him, he was like, I like it when idols, they're idols who sing and dance, not just, like, sing play an instrument and then try to dance with the instrument even though this one group that I really thought he was gonna like um the leader technically kind of dances hold on No. As I was saying, so we we talked about this one girl in a band for the anime where it's her and like four other girls. The four other girls play instruments and the leader of the group, she sings. She kind of dances, but he was talking about the fact that like, oh, when she performs, she kind of does poses. And not to the point where it's like, oh, hey, if you see someone, like, doing, like, this and stuff, and then they get into a groove, and then they're doing a performance um, while they're singing at the same time. That's what he was expecting, because the other show that they've done with this other show about bands and stuff, band idols and stuff, they've done DJ stuff. And that has, like, a full whole performance. And so we, it was a really interesting debate that we had and such but I was like I had kind of told him I was like well okay so let's do it like this as like after today um I won't talk about this series with you because since you're not really into it as much you tried and, and it's very similar like when people try to watch a really good popular anime and you kind not like forcing someone to watch it it's more like when you say oh my god I need you to watch this this is really really good like damn like I think you might enjoy it and then you get offended when someone says they don't like it, but it's like, okay, you don't want to get too pissed off and, like, argue with someone over that. Did I feel that way? Yeah, a little bit, but I was like, okay, you got to remember, not everybody's going to like the same things as you. That's the same thing with even people recommending stuff to me, where, like, everyone knows that I like cute-ish. I like Slice of Life. I like, um, depending on the Gundam-type series, I, like, Gundam Seed <laughs> in a nutshell, Kogias and a couple of the Gundam shows. Um, of course, I love a romance, a freaking magical girl-ish. And then, of course, I like horror. But for, in my opinion, with horror, there really isn't um, as good horror animes as there are. And if if 
if a horror anime does come out or someone suggested it to me, 50 out of 50, I've already seen it. So I'm like, all right, like, because another good as fuck. But at the same time, when you're trying, like, okay, when, like, the Juji Ito collection came out and how I was super duper excited about that. And then how that took a turn for, like, not the greatest because I'll never forget. I think we were, like, on week two or three for that show. And I kept getting comments on comments on comments about why the hell I was laughing at it. It's not supposed to be funny. It's supposed to be scary. And I was like, well, one, the way my upbringing on how I like horror films and why and how I got into horror films, my parents told me to look at it as comedy. So every single time when I watch a horror film, I'm always going to laugh when somebody gets killed. Um, But I'll be like, ooh, and everything. But more or less, I will fucking laugh at that shit because... (laughs) <laughs> that's my thing um but when I look at like something where it's very gruesome and gory like I love that that is like my all-time favorite thing how freaking um jobless reincarnation <laughs> did that in the previous two episodes that I watched where like someone got their head cut off and that is gorgeous and I love to see that in anime like uh it just it's good <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, seriously. But as I've learned over the years of h- however long I've been watching anime for the longest fucking time, is that, yeah, not everybody's going to like the same thing as you. This, remember, I also showed this person JoJo. And <laughs> when I showed him JoJo, like, he, and he likes it. He likes JoJo, but he his ultimate favorite is the one that I started on first. And he can rewatch that show. Damn. No, 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 no. It's like, we were, okay, we were getting ready to watch um, freaking Diamond together, which is the one that I started on first when I got into the series and stuff, and eventually I went back. This boy, <laughs> this boy ended up, like, we, we watched, like, all three parts together, right? And so I'm ready to watch part four with him so that we could also watch part five and stuff, right? This boy ends up watching the whole part all by himself. And I'm over here like, sir, I was all ready. I was getting ready. And you watch it without me? Like, oh my God. I was I, I was a little pissed. But I was like, I know because he, he has a huge crush on Josuke and such. So I was like, okay, that's fine. Go ahead. Go ahead. Have your little, you know, however long it takes you to binge an anime have moments with him ish. But I wanted to rewatch it because because it was funny. I think like when when it came out on Netflix, I, I had recently just um rewatched Stardust and like I think it was a couple of days before Diamond came out and I binged the whole freaking thing because I was like, you know what? This is when we were all still stuck inside at the time and I was like, you know what? I kinda wanna rewatch JoJo for the first time. And it it was really very interesting to rewatch it because there were so many things that I forgot about what happened. And I was like, oh, 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 oh. (laughs) But yeah, I think the moral of the story is at the end of the day, we're all going to fight with our friends over something. And that's okay. That's what we do. Friends are going to disagree over something, you know, as long as you still truly care for that person. And you just apologize and stuff. And be like, hey, I didn't mean to do this, this, that, and the third. You know, I'm sorry and stuff. But yeah. Go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for the final episode. All right. Final episode in three, two. Hold on. Stupid freaking mouse. In three, two, one, go. so cute. 
damn. But you want to be more than friends, right? Maybe. <laughs> no, oh my god, he's so, he's so, he's so cute when he even watches <laughs> True. I mean, yes, yeah, she did say friendship chocolate. Yes. <laughs> Get your butt up and let's go. Oh. 
So you got to go through with it no matter what. You're here. Choco. No, no, just come on in and wait. Damn, he like, li she literally put him in <laughs> Oh, God. You just sit and wait. Oh, oh. What are your intentions with my daughter? Damn, I thought like her mom would pop up be like, you sure you don't want to stay for dinner? <laughs> Smell good? Yeah. And it's even, it's even better when it's someone who you fucking like gets up for you like, ah, yeah. 
Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh, that's so cute. Holy shit. Get the confetti. <laughs>
<laughs> mhm. Mm Oh, yes, the best freaking episode of season two. <laughs> I kind of want to rewatch that episode because that, that was so freaking good. Damn it.
the baby's had a moment in the kind of white top in the way. All right, final thoughts on this season. I mean, you know, oh my god, look at the title with the kitty. He's got me in the title. Oh, it's so cute. Oh god, that was so fucking adorable. Stop it, because <laughs> yes, they are very kitties. Oh my god. Oh, okay. So yeah, this season was good, just as good as season one. But I, I just your girl wants a season three. Look at the cat. Look at them together. Oh, <laughs> really enjoyed this season a lot. I mean, of course, as I said, them going on the Kyoto trip and Komi, you know, being with that group and them going to do a whole bunch of things, going to Universal Studios Japan and everything. That was oh, is that that girl? Oh my god, if that's her. We need season three. Because I have been waiting forever a long damn time. That was so fucking cute. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. It, it's between the, the Universal Studios Japan episode, um, and it's the one, I don't know what it was. It was very early on. It had to be like the first three or four episodes where it, <laughs> it was the three guys in Donato, uh thinking of scenarios of each girl in their class and how like Zidano was thinking about him and Komi married together. And how, like, can you imagine them eating dinner together and doing the dishes? Like, that shit was so cute. Like, oh my god. So, we just, I pray that eventually, maybe, like, in a year or two, maybe three years from now, that we do get a season three on this show. Because, I mean, it is a really good, underrated show. And I, I know a lot of people enjoyed this as much as I did. And I think a lot of people want to see a lot more things animated and such. Like, I mean, for me... I do want to read the manga, and hell, I even stated this when I was watching season one. But um, at the same time, like I want to read, I want to, I want to watch the anime. But at the same time, I'm over here. I'm like, I really, really want to read so that because you know how like you're, you, you, <laughs> we get to an ending, and you're like, okay, you're satisfied, but you want to know more. This is that situation for me. Like I want to see how long it takes from whatever chapter we are for the end of season two to see where they finally officially get together. Because I have seen, like, um, clips here and there of people uploading stuff on YouTube, but, like, I haven't seen, like, the chapter where these two have finally gotten together and everyone's over here, like, oh my god, yes, like, they're all together and it's, like, they're dating and shit like that. But, like, yes, like, it was so good. Really enjoyed this show, like, as much as I loved it so freaking much. Everything about it every single week was good. Even when I had, like, one week I had one episode, then I had two, da 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 and I was just like, with this one, I, I, like, at first I was just gonna just have it as just, like, one video where it's like, here's episode 11, here's 12, but I was like, you know what, fuck it, let me just go ahead and put them together because, you know, when you are busy and you are multitasking with a lot of things and you're trying to get stuff done at a certain time, uh, at a certain time, you know, sometimes you do have time and sometimes you don't. I mean... It happens to all of us. This is what happens when you are living and striving. <laughs> but yeah, I really loved how we got to see more development on Komi. And I felt like if we do get a season three, it'll be even more on her. And same thing with Tadano. Like, oh my God, just the cat thing. That was cute. And I like seeing those two together kind of indicating like as 
quote unquote cats it seems like the cats have officially gotten together so once again it's just like we need these two to finally get together and i mean i think the day that we eventually do get to see that animated whether it's in season three season four season five whatever season that is gonna be a happy day for all of us like especially for people who have truly read the manga and they're like damn like this is all this is the one thing that a lot of people have been waiting for and it was all worthwhile. But yes, I really enjoyed it so freaking much. I am going to miss it a lot. Something just tells me I might end up rewatching this whole damn show. Uh, like, I, I either might have my mom watch it or I just might rewatch it by myself because I know myself. <laughs> But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards the entirety of Season 2 of Komi-san. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys all officially later on in this week for the start or really the continuation of Summer Anime. Because, of course, like, tomorrow or by the time you guys see this later on in the day, Overlord and Tokyo Mimi New should be starting for me. Because, of course, tomorrow is my last day before I go back to work. I don't want to go back to work, though. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.